Hey guys, quick run of uh, my Mini E Revo here. Um, this is running on straight nickel metal. I think the nickel metal batteries I have are not the best in the world because it's been um, sitting for a minute, the batteries have. So anyway, I figured I'd get this running real quick and put a video up of this little thing. I need to put some light bulbs in it, but I uh, just haven't gotten around to it just yet. I saw Value Hobby has some for about 12, 13 bucks for one. So I may get a couple of those and put them in here, just 2S on that. I don't want to do 3S because I've heard that there's problems with the differential with this thing, which is the reason why it hasn't been run so much. But I did shim the rear diffs um, uh, not too long ago. So I know that it can take more abuse than, I guess, the Revo stock out the box. But anyway, this is the Mini E Revo, and I am running the regular nickel metal batteries. Just one. I don't have it hooked up in series or parallel. See how this thing goes around this corner up here. Not me bumping into something. I saw when Jang did the review for this, he recommended putting 90 weight oil in the shocks. I have yet to do that, but I see why he would. I think I may try that next. Um, and I may even take the diffs apart and put some thick oil in there as well. But I think the first thing I'll do is update the shock oil and put that 90 weight in there because there seemed to be a huge improvement in handling with it. And as you see, this thing is bouncing and bumping around a lot. So. Flip, flip. That's another thing. These things flip very easily. So I think with the adjustment of the shock oil, um, it may be better. So let's take this off road and see how it handles. It doesn't do too bad as long as you, I don't really want to say drive with caution, but drive with caution. Cause if I just went all out over here, this thing would probably flip all over the place like that. And then I'd be picking it up every minute. Like down here on the rough stuff, about a quarter throttle. Then of course on these straightaways, you can get into that throttle a little bit, but... Flip, flip, flip. Get out of some of this rougher terrain so I'm not fetching it every 30 seconds. I do recommend if anybody's thinking about getting this, watch uh, Jang's review, Ultimate RC, on this. Because um, he has some good points about the car and the truck. And he makes some uh, suggestions as far as modifications as well. Um, for me, it's just something to try to get and just try to run and experiment with. But at some point, it will be on the 
JTRC cell list. Because <laughs> it handles okay, but it's, like I said, you guys see it flips over an awful lot. And I am running these nickel metals in here. I know it'd be a lot faster with lipos, and people put 3S lipos in it, but I think that's just too much for something this small. Um, battery's dumping as well, so. Bring this sucker in. That was probably about, what, five minutes of running, if that. Um, anyways, as always, don't forget to like or dislike, subscribe if you have not, and stay tuned for more videos.